Being in Bristol at that particular time, I mean, I've, I've no sort of experience being anywhere else, obviously. But there was um, coming out of the punk scene. I was a little bit too young for the whole punk thing, but I was affected by it, obviously. And there was a, a sort of like a club called the Dugout, which was a club where it's you know, probably the only place in Bristol where sort of black and white people would hang out together because of the music, because it wasn't sort of divided by politics or whatever, social boundaries. And you start spending a lot of time there, and every night in the dugout there'd be a different type of music, a different DJ playing, different things from soul to funk to hip hop, as it started to happen, very early days electro and uh, reggae music all the time as well. Bristol's had a big history of reggae music going way back, and I was into The Clash and, and Public Image and The Slits maybe, all those bands got me into this kind of idea of something else happening. And going to that club kind of, you know, gave me an insight into what else was out there. And I think, you know, a lot of people in Bristol met during that time and sort of got into music that was changing. It's a very sort of like a, I suppose, a very fertile time for music. It went from, you know, for a lot of changes in five years, from punk in 77 to hip hop in 81. It's four years of a major change. And a lot of people were very affected by that. And I think also the punk thing and the hip hop thing was very anti-establishment and its own kind of feeling, you know, it wasn't about sort of like commercial music, it was about things coming from a certain place, specific places, and I think that was very appealing, so that's what really got me into it. And how we finished it, because it was chaotic and it was, it was difficult, you know, because we weren't used to that, we weren't a sort of a band that had an ambition to be a band.